Medris Wellington is relying on her faith right now. Everyone's trying not to, um, so to speak, um, think of the worst. That's how she's grappling with the destruction of some cities in her home country of the Bahamas after Hurricane Dorian. There are a lot of family members who are still missing. She says no one has heard from her uncle in about a week. Other loved ones in the hardest hit areas are now struggling to survive. The grocery stores are gone. It's just deplorable. It's, it, they, they just need help. Help that Wellington is spearheading for the place she spent much of her life. Um, we have um, individuals that bought clothing. She's collecting pace, items like personal packets, hygiene products, um, food and diapers for folks left stranded. They're waiting hours in line um, <laughs> just to get water, um, just to get gas. Wellington says items like medicine and face masks are ready to be boxed and shipped, but she's running into a roadblock that's preventing her from getting these items to people in need. What I'm hoping for is um, favor with the Postal Service, um, letting them know that it is for a relief effort. Um, um, I've been asking for donations, um, and the donations would be to ship the items. The resources will be shipped to Florida, then taken into the Bahamas. We are determined to get back. If you would like to help Wellington, head over to WTKR.com for more information. In Virginia Beach, Brian Hill, News 3.